Hey there, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm gonna to take you through my process of brewing a cup of coffee as is often needed in the afternoon with uh, one of my favorite brewing devices, the AeroPress. It's nothing fancy, makes a great cup of coffee, and it's quick and easy. So, let's get into it. So what I'm using today, uh, my Yeti mug, it's the 10 ounce Rambler, and my Bonavita electric kettle, water already warmed up, and my AeroPress that I've had for a number of years, and I've already pre-ground my coffee. So I do this fresh every time I make a cup of coffee. You don't need to do that. The AeroPress has a magical way of making even just like your typical Maxwell House kind of thing uh, taste a lot better than it does out of a drip. And I, um, I like reusable products, so I use a reusable steel mesh filter rather than you know, wasting all of those paper filters. So um, that's pretty much all I'm using today. Cell phone is here to use as a timer, and that's how I'm gonna keep track of my brew time and the different steps that I'm gonna to take today. So let's get started. First things first, it's about 16 grams of coffee in there. I'm gonna brew a single cup and I'm using the inverted method. If you're new to the AeroPress, um, that doesn't mean anything to you. It basically just means I'm brewing in this configuration here. Uh, you can Google and YouTube all kinds of different recipes to do with this little guy. Uh, but this is how I like it and this is how I do it. So what I first do is get my timer set up. There we go. And I drip some water in just to the point where all of the grinds are wet. And I let that go for 30 seconds. This is commonly referred to as the bloom phase. And that, as you can see here, there's lots of nice, rich looking bubbles in there. Everything is sufficiently wet. And really just letting the coffee wake up a little bit. 30 seconds, then I mix it for 10. Then I top it up. Oh, that smells so good. Right up to the top. Should be coming in about a minute here. Turn the lid back on. This is where I generally make a mess. No drips. And gently, just steadily press. It should come out about two minute mark. Once you start to hear that hiss, you stop. And enjoy. Mm. Ready to go for the afternoon. So that's my two minute process for brewing a cup of coffee. I know I went a little bit over two minutes. It's probably a little bit gentle on the press there. And really the only time not included, or the only items not included in that brew time uh, are things like boiling the water and grinding the coffee. So if you're using already ground coffee or you've pre-ground your own coffee, you really just scoop that in at the measurement that you like. And I use about 16 to 17 grams of coffee for a cup. Um, and of course boiling the water, which depending on what device you use can take a minute, it can take 10 minutes. It's, Kind of up to you and, and how you do it um, but really once those two items are sorted out two minutes great cup of coffee with an arrow press really hard to get wrong um, so i hope you've gotten something out of that today if you're new to enjoying an afternoon coffee or new to the arrow press or just looking for a different brew method you should definitely check it out if you've had an arrow press for a while and you have a recipe that you really love and it's different than what i'm doing um, or you think i'm doing something wrong then share it for sure in the comments below. I definitely want to hear your recipes and how you do it. So thanks again for joining me today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you need a jolt, this is to you. Ciao.